Breaking news on Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine. I want to get straight over to Meg Terrell, who's got a lot to tell us this morning. Meg. Good morning, Andrew. Uh, the FDA posting some briefing documents ahead of the big advisory meeting on Tuesday next week for Pfizer's vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11. So far, we're just seeing Pfizer's documents, uh, and they are reporting new efficacy data from that trial of about 2,250 kids in this age group, 90.7% efficacy for those kids. And this comes during a time when Delta was predominant uh, in the U.S. and globally. So those cases accrued in this trial. They saw only three among kids who are vaccinated versus 16 among kids who are on placebo. And this was a randomized study so that uh, two to one uh, more kids on the vaccine than placebo. So that's how they get that 90.7 percent efficacy. And those cases were seen between July and September. They also note that among the kids who still got a COVID case, despite being vaccinated, they had much fewer symptoms, no fever, uh, versus many more symptoms and more severe symptoms among kids who weren't vaccinated. So Pfizer making the case in these documents to the FDA, uh, both showing the safety and efficacy, which looked good, uh, but also for why a kid's vaccine in this age group is needed. They note that cases have surged among kids and they can cause severe illness death and long-term effects, even though those are more rare. They note a vaccine among kids may reduce transmission and could restore a safe learning environment for them. So guys, we're still waiting for the FDA to post its briefing documents. We'll see how it's looking at Pfizer's data. And then Tuesday next week, we'll get to see the public meeting about all of this and the vote from them heading to the FDA then, potentially making its decision and the CDC in the first week of November. Andrew? May you, I, I hate to ask you to handicap the situation, but uh, given some of the questions that's, that still seem to be out there about the vaccine and how large the study was and, and all of that, what do you think the prospect is that we're going to see this, um, call it pre-Christmas, pre-Thanksgiving? I think the expectation is extremely high. This will be available probably by the end of the first week of November. The CDC's advisors meet November 2nd and 3rd to talk about this. Uh, the U.S. government, the White House, is already spelling out its plan, making sure that the vaccines are shipped, ready to go. Um, they are different packaging. There's going to be smaller needles. This is one-third the dose for kids. So really getting all of this into place. Um, but you're right. This is a smaller study. And the risks that people worry about, like myocarditis, that very rare heart risk, that wouldn't be picked up most likely in a trial this small. It was hardly picked up or really wasn't picked up in the 44,000-person study. So they're going to be monitoring this real time as it rolls out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.